Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got back from a lovely Valentine's Day dinner with my boyfriend and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to sit down here with my friends and get on ready with me and show you guys my current skincare favorites. Now a disclaimer before I start is these are a lot of steps because I don't do this every single day. <laughs> I'm, I'm way too busy for that. There's about three steps like cleansing and um, face max I do pretty pretty often and like moisturizer or something like that where I do do it every night but this is like everything that I have right here on my table is like what I do on like a self-care day like a day where I'm like all about me or not, not like a day like a night like before I sleep another disclaimer is that your skincare routine can be for your own skin type I have a certain type of skin type my skin type is dry so these all accumulate towards dryness the order of the skincare can be different for everybody this is just this, the the routine and, and steps that work best for me it could be different for all of you guys so without further of me rambling on let's go ahead and get started into some skincare okay so the first thing that we need to do when it comes to self-care is to get into your cozy so three two okay <laughs> so now that we're all looking crazy and comfortable <laughs> we can go ahead and get started so another thing about today's video is all of these products i have been using consistently and they work for me but there is one product in here that i am doing a first impressions on it is by let me read it again youth youth probably youth i don't know and it is, it's the dead sea mud mask i'm going to do i'm going to be doing a fresh impression on this they did send me this so i'm very very grateful for that and i will be telling you guys my honest thoughts and review on that okay so the first step in my routine is i like to take off my eye makeup and just like everything i guess with the um lancome by facial eye removal eye makeup removal I use also shout out to my nails. Aren't they cute? They match this. <laughs> okay, so I don't use this much. I don't use this if I'm not wearing any makeup, but today is Valentine's Day. So I did put on a full beat makeup today. So we're gonna be needing this. And usually I have little swabs, you know, the little cotton swab things where I use, but I ran out. So I'm just gonna be using some regular rides. These are from Neutrogena, are they? Actually, they're not from each Wait, are they? Oh, these are from Global Beauty Care. They all do the same thing, though. But this is what they look like. So I'm just going to put a little bit on this. Just like that. And I'm just going to rub over my eye to get all my mascara off. That's mostly why I do this step, is because my mascara <laughs> does not come off for the life of me. So I kind of just massage like this. As you can see, it's breaking up that makeup right there. Okay, so I just kind of do that on my eyes because that's where like the heavy makeup is normally. For the cleanser I've really been into recently is the Essential C Cleanser by Murad. And I, I don't know, I've just been liking this one. It has like little uh, specks in it, if you can tell. And I just think it like gives a really nice sheen to my skin because it does have vitamin C in it. I basically scrub it all over my face with my hands and then I use this by um, the original makeup eraser. I got this in an Ipsy box one time. This has changed my skincare life. Like this makes taking off my makeup like half the time. I can do this in half the time now just from this one little thing. And this is like the small version I think. There's a bunch of different kinds by the makeup eraser. But this one I, I love and you can just pop it in the washer and it cleans itself. I don't know how I'm going to show you this, but I'm going to try my best. So I'm just going to put it on my hand. I'll try it for a little and then I have to go wash it with my, in the water. So, okay, so I'm just going to push it between my hands and switch it all over my bed. I don't even know if it works without water. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, it's going to just seep into my skin. So I'm going to be right back use some water, and then I'll come back to wash it off with this so I can actually show you how good it is. Okay, so I just scrubbed it with water and everything. My hands are probably still wet from it, but I want to show you what this looks like when I scrub it. So this is what it looks like. Can you see the difference? It literally just takes it right off. I mean, you have to keep wetting it, but like, it does work. So I'm gonna finish doing this in the bathroom because like, 
obviously you understand why and then we'll come back for the next step also disclaimer don't mind this big pimple on my chin it's from stress my grandma's in the hospital there's a whole lot going on so that is why that is there and we're just gonna move past and not look at it <laughs> so the next thing I like to use is the skin and co exfoliant like gamage face gamage looks like this I actually got this in a boxy charm and I've been loving it it's polishing micro exfoliant truffle face ma face gamage now this it's an exfoliant but it's like very soothing very subtle you don't need a lot too like that's probably enough that's what it looks like it has little tiny specks in it for the exfoliant but it's so creamy I don't even know how to describe it I'll show you guys it feels it feels like moisturizer almost and moisturizer feels really nice for me personally but it has little like little balls and balls in it and it smells amazing too it smells amazing so I'm gonna just keep doing this but I'm gonna go put some water on it because obviously it works with water and I'll come back to see you guys then okay so this is it <laughs> it's usually after this step where I feel the most clean and like where my skin feels just like amazing and also one thing I do want to mention though is I don't do this every night or even three times a week I do it about twice a week so that your skin cells can naturally age on their own also I like to scrub my lips because they're always trapped this is the from Sephora this is the gamage in kiwi it's a lip scrub looks like this it looks like a lipstick but it's actually a lip scrub as you can see, my scrub of dub dubs. It turns weird after I do it though. This disclaimer. So I do it a bunch of times. Because it's like supposed to be, it's like, I don't know, it's cute. So it's like chastity, but it's like a scrub. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, it works really good. What I've been waiting for, and I hope what you guys have been waiting for, is the review on the Youth Dead Sea mask. So this is the Youth Dead Sea Ma Mud Mask, Hyaluronic Acid, Aloe Vera, Collodial Oatmeal, and Avocado Oil. This all seems amazing. This is what it looks like, by the way, when it comes out. It cleanses, detoxifies, and hydrates, which is what I need, having dry, dry skin. It fights pimples and blackheads, de detoxifies skin, drawing out impurities and excess oils, minimizes pore size, which is a big thing for me. I, have, I don't know if you guys can tell. That's a cute shot of me. But um, I don't know if you guys can tell. But I actually have the largest pores ever. Like every human ever. Apply an even layer of Youth Dead Sea Mud Mask. To clean dry skin. Avoiding the eye and lip area. Leave on for 15 to tw 20 minutes. Or until dry. Rinse off with water. For best results use three times a week. Okay. So now we're going to open her up. Oh, she did some tossing in the mail, I can tell. It's all over here, but this is what it looks like inside. This is the lid. I'm gonna be using a lot of the lid right now. So I'm gonna just gonna apply it with uh, this. I got these from Target, by the way. It's from My Beauty Spot. I like these. It just has, it's just stained, stained from another face mask I used. Ooh, it's so creamy. Ooh, I love the feeling. It's like cool. Okay, I can, this feeling is just amazing. Well, I'm also a big fan of um, face masks. Like, that's probably why I'm like, oh, it's so this, it's so that. It's just because I like face masks. <laughs> but I'm really into this. I'm really, I'm really stoked to see how this goes. And I'm going to give you an honest review. So I'm not, just because they sent this to me, doesn't mean that I'm going to be like, which I'm very, very, very grateful that they sent it to me, but I'm not going to, like, tell you a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I want to be honest with you guys. You guys are my friends. So I think I pretty much got it all. And that covered my full face with me only using it. Like, look at this. You saw how what it was before. Look at it now. I used two baby pull-ins with that. And that's how much it got me. This thing will last you. So I'm just going to hit start. And we just started. By the way, though, upon just applying it, it's cooling. Like, it's actually having a cooling effect. Didn't say that, but I, right around here, mostly, I'm feeling like a cooling effect. We're on 14 minutes and 12 seconds. So, 
I'm gonna come back to you. Feel it's gonna feel like a second, but it won't be. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. <laughs> I look kind of crazy. I kind of look like a frog. Okay, so this part, as you can see, I just want to come a little early. It is 15 minutes, but it said 15 to 20, or at least when I was dry. Obviously, you can tell this is what it looked like when I first applied it, and this is what it turned into, like actual mud color, <laughs> which I was not expecting. I was not expecting that. So I'm just going to do five more minutes and see what happens. So I'm just going to hit start. So now we are going to do five more minutes. Okay. So, it's literally been like 10 minutes, even though I said the thing for 5, I had to do it twice, but as you can see, it is still not dry, but this side is, but this side is still not dry, but I'm impatient. Most of it did, so I'll get a good impression anyways, so I think I'm just going to take it off <laughs> anyways. So I'm just going to take it off with this, this is another reason why this is such a good tool. I can use this now. I just wet it and I can take it off. So I'm just going to slice it. I did wet it, so that's why it's doing that. Okay. It's coming off easy. See, there's one spot. Took it off completely. If I do this, then I'll probably have to re uh, re wet this because it's going to get all gucky with the, with the mask. Do this side. From me not touching my face yet and just wiping it, it feels very cooling. Like, you know, I was telling you guys before that in this area it was getting cool. That ended up having over, happening over all my face. So the part in here where it says um, it detoxes was completely right. That's what detoxing is, I believe. Even after this, I get super dry, like really, really dry. And that's a common thing with every product like I use. My cleanser, my... Um, removal, my spray, my moisturizer, like no matter what I use, my face ends up dry and actually I feel hydrated, but it's a mud mask. I wouldn't think it would do that, but then I'm remembering that it actually says detoxifies and hydrates. Like I'm actually serious, you guys. I feel like I already put moisturizer on. Like it actually feels and I feel super smooth. I can't stop touching my face right now. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. And I will be using that three times a week. You will see this more. So moving along in my skincare steps. I'm going to put some toner on. So I'm going to be using the Glam Glow Super Toner. And yes, it's very miniature because I did get an Ipsy. And if you have... Um, a su of subscription with Ipsy, you know that everything comes in miniature size. So we're gonna try this on my face. I'm just gonna put it right here in my palm and just like press it into my skin. That's how I do a uh, toner. A lot of people don't do toner like this. A lot of people put it on a, a cotton swab, but I actually just told you guys that I don't have them right now. I ran out, I need to go pick some up. But I used to do it with my hands way back when before I found that hack. So I'm just gonna do it with my hands. I'm just gonna push it on my hands. Press it on my screen. Press it on. You want to press toner if it's going on with your hands because your hands have oil as well. I like to do it this way, but it's up, totally up to you. Oh, that smell. That smell is, is deadly, man. That smell is bad. Okay. So the next product I was, I'm going to use is from Advanced Clinicals. It is the vitamin, vitamin C serum. It looks like this. Just a dropper. It's a vitamin C targets dark spots, uneven tone, and expression lines. I have a very uneven skin tone. As you can see, I have dark circles. And I have little sun spots from when I used to surf. And I'm just going to put on one side. The other side. You want to let it drip. And up here, I'll probably put some on my nose. Chin up here, maybe. A bit more here. That one did drop as well, so I just put more there. This is what it looks like for now. This one's cute. I'm just gonna use my hands. I cleaned them obviously when I first started, like in the beginning, before I even touched my face. So another thing not to come at me for. <laughs> okay. This was a lot of oil. This was a lot. I'm just gonna mush it around. You wanna massage this in. It travels light, it's a very light formula. And obviously, you want to put something down your neck, but you want to go upwards. 
neck. Okay, so for the next step is a crucial step for me. Once I saw, once I found this product, I cannot not use it. Like this is a my, this this is a part of my products where I use every single day, and I think it's made a huge different with my skin. As I was telling you guys before, I have huge pores. They come out in my makeup. They make my makeup look very cakey, and it's very unflattering. And I uh, got this uh, probably about two months ago, or a month ago, maybe. Last month, I think it was. In a BoxyCharm. And it is it is the Glow Recipe uh, Waterman, Watermelon Sleeping Mask. I have been using this every single night. And my pores have been non-existent. Like... I'm telling you, it only took one time to use it, and it was amazing. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hands. I'm just going to... Well, first, I target the spots where I have a lot of pores, like right around here. That's where I get my texture, too, from the pores. And then I kind of just drag it down to any other place. Because I have large pores, but they kind of diminish when it comes out here. But I still like to put it there. It smells like watermelon. It, there's nothing not to like. There's nothing not to like. It's so lightweight, it just goes straight into the skin. So, the next step I like to do is moisturizer. So, I need a lot of moisture. And so, for that, this one's my favorite moisturizer at the moment. I have a ton because I buy them a lot because, obviously, a dry girl needs them. But this is the Sol de Janeiro, um, the Sol de Janeiro... Coco Cabana Cream, Cabana, Cabana Cream. This one smells like kettle corn, so I love this one. I love it. I use it like before every time I do my makeup, just for a good, for a good smell, like literally. <laughs> well, I also need the moisture, and it travels a long way, and it feels so moisturizing. Like, oh, I could drown myself in this smell too. My goodness, don't forget the eyelids. But be careful not to get wrinkles. <laughs> okay, so the next step, I like to put on eye cream. I got this also in Allure Ipsy, one of those, Sephora Play, one of those boxes. It is the Nuria Defend Eye Cream. It looks like so. And it kind of has a cool uh, top to it. It kind of has a shape where it goes under your eye perfectly. I love this one. It's the Triple Action Eye Cream. It's with mulberry, root, and ginseng native to China. So I, I just kind of have a little bit come up, then I put it on, and then I massage it with it. I use the, the, the actual tool to massage it with it. I kind of put a little bit up here. Very slight though, mostly up here because I need help down here, you know? Then, I actually just picked this up and I thought it was kind of cool. It's the Brightening Boost Face Mist with rose water and aloe. Aloe is good for your skin and so is rose water. So I was like, okay. And it balances all skin types, reduces dark spots and brightens. As I was telling you before, I do have a lot of dark spots. But the spritzer on this is kind of intense. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But I still like it. So I'm just going to spray a bit. You saw how intense that was. So I kind of just push it around. Be careful not to breathe it in because it tastes like chemicals, but it smells good, but it tastes like chemicals. I'm going to dry it down. And then one thing that I cannot go without is chapstick. Or in this case, it's a sleeping mask by Laneige. And I have heard so many good things about this. It's in the vanilla. And I've been loving it. Like, oh my gosh, it really moisturizes. I just dip it with my nail, put a little on the top, a little on the bottom, and swoosh. It's that simple. This is definitely the time of the year where I get really chapped lips up here. So I kind of always bring it up, like, onto my cupid's bow. But obviously, you don't need to do that. <laughs> That's just a personal preference this time of the year. Okay. Okay guys, so that is it. I love this skincare routine. I think it works solely for my skin, but I really do think it would work for any other skin type. Some things I would say away from, like the oils and stuff like that, because if you're an oily person, that might be a little 
intense for your skin and this is not for every day but if you want to be a bougie gal do it every day it's up to you it'll actually make your skin very 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 amazing and it'll help you age amazing but the only thing I would suggest doing is um, using only the exfoliants about two times a week so that your bot your face can actually grow natural oils I mean natural cells and so that you don't age faster than you're supposed to. So that's my that's my advice to you. Okay guys, so that is it for the skincare routine that I'm currently favorite of. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and click the bell right next to the subscription bar to be notified of all my future uploads. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms at Sarah Walker. 5600 will be right here on the screen as well. The makeup look that was actually on my face earlier for Valentine's Day. I actually have it over on my TikTok. I'll put the... I don't even remember the username because I made it so long ago. But um, this is it right here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!